here. I have covered my some of my pots with uh, plastic because it started to rain now this month and these seedlings are still fragile so I've learned the lesson last year I've covered them with plastic and then I poke some holes so the air can escape and um, also to avoid fungi from growing this uh, eggplant this used to have mulch same as with my okras and my tomatoes but it got the birds stole it the native birds so I need to think of an alternative like um, coconut husk so the mulch that I've used is coconut moss so I'm gonna use an alternative which is called coconut husk those are larger bits of coconut um, fibers so that's what I'm going to do also if you look down here there's loads of ants in the eggplant even though I'm not seeing a feed infestation I've also propagated some of my prickly pears I planted this cutting just a while ago and it came from this mother plant so this is the mother plant, the only mother plant of my prickly pears. Now I have, I think, five, more than five. So here are the two prickly pears, the pups, and that's the other one. So you see there's no new sprouts, so it's quite cute to look at. And also over here, these pups are now having some sprouts. Now over here, I've got my fermented plant juice. So this is an organic fertilizer. And I've started this, this the date of production, May 4, 2021. So two days from now, I'm gonna harvest this at May 11. And I'm gonna make a video of me harvesting it. So I, I've covered it with um, paper uh, manila paper or cloth is the best because this used to have lead so if you don't have a lead you can use paper as an alternative the main difference is that if you have um, paper as an alternative it has air in it and if you have lead it will begin the process of anaerobic ferment fermentation so also over here if you look down there and see those are white molds and white molds are basically good bacteria over there so this means that our process or project making of this fertilizer is successful and also some yellow molds or fungi those are also good bacteria if you saw black or brown bacteria those are bad bacteria so you should throw them away so that's it for the garden update i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video